Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Sparkle English. Today we have a comma quiz. There are 10 exercises in total and you must correct any comma errors. Let's begin. Number one, Jake loves hiking, fishing, and spending time with his dog. In number one, we must add a comma after hiking and after fishing. And that's because we have a list of three different activities, hiking, fishing, spending time with his dog. In a list of three or more, we add commas to separate each item. The comma before and is optional. It's known as the Oxford comma, and it's more common in North America. Number two. Mark wanted to buy a new car, but he didn't have enough money. Okay, in number two, we do have an error. We must add a comma after car. And that's because we have two independent clauses. Mark wanted to buy a new car. He didn't have enough money. When we have two independent clauses joined by a coordinating conjunction, we must use a comma before the coordinating conjunction. Number three, the teacher answered the student's questions after the math lesson. Okay, in number three, we do have an error. We have to remove the comma here after teacher. This comma is unnecessary and it interrupts the flow of the sentence. We don't need a comma to separate the subject from the verb. Number four. Sarah, can I borrow your black purse to wear to my friend's party tonight? Okay, in number four, we do need a comma. We need to add a comma after Sarah, and that's the vocative comma. A comma is needed to indicate a direct address. I am talking to Sarah, and so we separate her name from the rest of the sentence. Number five. After a long day at the office, Mr. Smith was happy to go home and see his children. In number five, we do have one comma error. The first comma is correct. We're using a comma after an introductory element that comes before the independent clause. However, we must remove the comma before and, and that's because Mr. Smith was happy to go home. This is an independent clause. However, see his children is not an independent clause. And this is not a list of three or more. So a comma here is incorrect. Number six. I don't like driving on busy roads, Katie confessed. Okay, in number six, we do need to add a comma. We need to add a comma before the quotation marks. We need to separate the dialogue I don't like driving on busy roads from this speech tag here, Katie confessed. Number seven, mom went to the supermarket because she needed to buy hamburgers and buns for dinner. So in number seven, we do have an error. There's a comma that we need to remove after hamburgers. This is only a list of two items, hamburgers, buns. So we don't use a comma in lists of two. We only use a comma in lists of three or more. Number eight. When Dean and Laura got home from school, they played board games. So number eight is correct as it is. We keep this comma here. This sentence is correctly punctuated with this comma, which comes after the introductory clause. Number nine. Emma, please finish your homework before you go on the computer.
Okay, in number nine, we do need to add a comma. We have to add the vocative comma. The speaker is talking to Emma, so a comma is needed after Emma to indicate a direct address. And finally, number 10. My parents went to Rome, Italy for their honeymoon many years ago. Okay, in number 10, we have to add two commas. We have to add a comma after Rome and after Italy. So commas are needed to separate the city from the country in an address. And we do have to put a comma after the country as well before continuing the rest of the sentence. Okay, so let me know in the comment section how many you got correct out of 10. And if you had any difficulties, let me know as well or which types of commas are the most difficult for you. Make sure to check out my other punctuation lessons and punctuation quizzes and I'll see you all in my next lesson.